Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84, and um, I came home from uh, work today and um, found uh, my one and only Cherimoya fruit on the floor. Now, um, I'm not sure whether to be disappointed or pleased really, I, I suppose I naively thought it might stay on the plant for another three or four months and get to a decent edible size but having said that to have um to have one fruit set last year on a this is a seed grown cherimoya that um i suppose people keep asking me how old they are and i can't remember anymore but i reckon i started the seeds eight nine eight or nine years ago maybe ten years um, and they do flower on and off, and I do keep cutting them back. They haven't got particularly thick stems on them. I suppose the stems are about an inch wide at the base, because obviously they're not particularly, well, they're not fast growing here at all when they're growing indoors most of the year and put outside in summers. However, <clears throat> I finally managed to get one of the flowers to set and the results with this fruit. Now, you can see the size of it. It's, um, it's a very small cherimoya um i had no intention of picking it i was just going to leave it on in fact i was going to put a bag on it so it wouldn't fall on the floor which it's now done um now to give you an idea of a size here's a small mandarin next to it so it's no bigger than a small mandarin so what i thought i'd do is cut it open and see would it um see if it's got any seeds in it and see what the flesh is like i mean it's not it's not got any real give give to the skin so it's not ripe although it has got some cracking away around the stem here at the top showing the flesh underneath and when they go like that they tend to go bad and go mouldy quite quickly but it's not um it hasn't got any give that would lead me to think that it's going to be in any way edible but i mean but the problem is at this time of the year there's no heat in the house there's no sunshine with warmth to leave it in to ripen on the kitchen worktop I could put it in the fruit bowl, bowl with other fruits but to be honest from experience when I bought them at the local shop they go mouldy here so quickly they don't really last more than two or three days but it's it's not in my opinion going to be edible in any way um, it's it's very very firm and if it was properly ripe and if it was summer, it would. I expect it to have a fair bit of give on the skin. It would be soft, but I thought it'd be fun for the people who are interested just to cut it open and see if it's got any seeds in it. Um, let's move that out of the way. It's it's pretty solid, so it would definitely be what you would consider to be completely underripe, or expected to be completely underripe. Yeah, definitely, uh, definitely underripe. Um, let's see if it's got any smell. Hmm. Now, interestingly, it seems to have a seed in it. Although it's clearly underripe, it does appear to have a a very small seed in it. I can't see any way that that seed would be viable doesn't look as if it would be viable to me but I'm just going to taste this just to see if it's got a, a custard apple it's not astringent it's also not soft let's try at this end here where there seems to be a little bit of softness to it It almost looks like it might only have one seed in it. Oh no, there's another one here. There's a hint of custard apple. Obviously it hasn't got that soft sort of creamy texture to it. Um, there's a hint of a um, hint of custard apple flavour to it. I mean, you wouldn't eat it and go, well, this is a fruit I'm going to come back and eat again. But uh, it's white inside. No real sweetness, no real softness. But it's 
still interesting to see what the insides are like. Now, of course, the problem with these is they're not particularly known for they're not really known for coming uh, necessarily coming. There's another seed in there. They're not necessarily coming true to type anyway. Uh, even if the parent fruit was from a named variety, you can't presume that these seedling plants will ever produce a fruit that either gets to a decent size or you'd consider to be edible. But all in all, not not terrible um not 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 lovely either i mean you certainly wouldn't wouldn't encourage you to eat more custard apples but it's um it could have been absolutely vile like some underripe fruit are but there was no they don't have astringency in these as far as i can tell but i just thought that would um interest the people have been following to see if it would hold on the tree i really think it needed another two or three months on there but um Probably because it's winter, the uh, the stems shrunk away, and I, I might not be watering the plant enough because I don't want to overwater it and rot the roots. But a nice looking skin on this cherimoya, and hoping that in future, if I can get the fruits to set a little bit earlier, um, perhaps the plants will start to produce larger fruits, which may eventually prove to be edible. So not a complete disaster, but hardly a success story either. So thanks for watching the video. If you've had a look, much appreciated. That was a cherimoya on a seed grown plant here in the UK. A long way to go to be worth eating. Um, please give me a thumbs up. You're welcome to share the video if you think anybody might find it interesting. Uh, please uh, do subscribe to my channel if anything I'm trying to do here interests you. And if you want to know when new videos come out, then obviously uh, click on that bell to get updates thanks for watching i really appreciate it i'll catch up with you all in the next video brett out for now